Right. Uh, but Chris or um, Fred, do you have any final thoughts here? Yeah. Good. Uh, one of the things that I heard Tommy say a few times is, you know, the technology made a big difference. And I think that's true, but I think there are some other things that are worth unpacking, and it's too late right now. But, you know, I think about the audience that Youth Voices affords is a different kind of thing. And I think there's some kind of thing in, in them constructing their knowledge, you know, whether it's cobbling together a lot of different sources or media that's, you know, I mean, the technology allows that, but there's some deeper things that's kind of happening that makes it a more powerful thing. So um, I think there's just more to say about exactly what's going on there that makes those things more engaging. And to me, part of it is audience. It's a real authentic audience, and, then, and partly it's the that students can construct their knowledge from the media that they know. But um, more to say on that. Yeah, so they're making discussion posts. In other mm -hmm. words, they're making a post to invite discussion. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's really good to, to be thinking about. Um, and not easy at all. <laughs> Fred. Well, I, I just am so impressed with the variety of the projects and the variety of the approaches that you're using. Uh, you know, I, I work with um, school-wide interventions where we're trying to encourage teachers to just try one thing. Mm. And here you've got a half a dozen different <laughs> projects, each one fascinating, going. Mm. It's, it's very impressive. I, 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 we don't have time now, but the, one of the questions I thought of that I would love to hear your reflections on is how do you deal with bumping up against controversial issues? Have you gotten yourself in trouble around things like that? <laughs> um, yeah, I have. Uh, and it's, you know, it's just a, a risky take. And with some, especially with the Google uh, docs and everything that's connected to Google, I kind of am in control because it's not out on the, uh, you know, it's on the internet, but it's restricted to our school. Um, but when you do youth voices or, you know, create a wiki or publish on book drum or put, you know, movies that they made from media studies up on YouTube, you have to be aware of that. Um, and I haven't gotten into any uh, trouble or anything, but my, uh, my district has made it very clear that they're, you know, a little worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how you're working with other teachers and so forth um, is an interesting question to go to also. But um, maybe we could find some of that on your blog. Can you say sure. your blog's name again? Um, yeah, I have. In the notes, but go ahead. Yeah, I have, uh, I have two right now. One is my one that I've been keeping for a long time uh, called Cyb English, C-Y-B-E-N-G-L-I-S-H dot blogspot dot com. And uh, that one I include a lot of different stuff. You know, I put up, you know, videos that I've seen that I think relate to education and um, et cetera. And then I also have one at Windsor, which is called windsorhightech.blogspot.com. And it's just projects that I do at the school. And it, it's, it, they, some other teachers use it, but so far it's basically been my blog. Um, and so it has all the projects that I've been doing at Windsor. And there are, there are other ones. I did a whole project on gender studies with Clogster, and I did a character analysis with Storybird, and I did some really cool project with um, making movies for my media studies class. That, oh, that one was great. The, the students really loved that one. Um, right. So those are all on the blog. You can check those out. Great ending. Uh, we, got, we, do, we do have to end here. I'm afraid. Um, so thank you all for hanging out with us. And uh, Tommy, thank you so much for sharing some of your work. Um, one quick question. Uh, you've been in the profession for a couple of years. Are you going to stay for a while? Yeah, I'm working next year again at Windsor. And I've got two uh, classes that will be in the lab. So I'll have two American Lit classes that are in the lab all semester. Um, mm -hmm. So they're really, they, lo they love the, the integration of the technology there. Um, and then, and after that, we'll see. I, but so far, I'm really loving it. I, I just, uh, it's so exciting when kids get into it, you know. Well, thank you for Thanks sharing so with us again tonight. Um, we have been uh, talking here over the uh, edtechtalk.com um, 
channel of the World Bridges Network, and we want to thank Dave Cormier and Jeff Lebo for that. And um, next week we get to kind of go through this again because um, cause Kevin Hodgins uh, does amazing stuff too. So uh, it would be great to see all of that work. Um, so join us again next Wednesday. Thank you all. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.